Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Jolliness. Day one. I am running a little behind today, but we're going to get our video going. First things first, we are getting coffee going. I'm putting the tea kettle on. I'm going to use my hydro flask to bring some coffee to work. So I need to heat that up. I got to feed the cats and I'm going to make our first advent of the day. So day one, um, this is the Silver Bridge Coffee Company Advent and they're in Galop Galliopas, Ohio. I, can't, I don't know how to say it, but they are a local roaster. I found these, this company at um, the coffee festival I went to over the summer or fall actually. And I bought this advent calendar, 25 days, different color, coffee, different flavor every day. So we're going to pull off the sticker. Ooh, this is brownie nut. Brownie nut is our flavor today. We're going to open it up. Oh, I love the smell of coffee. Oh, that smells delish. I already have the water and everything ready. All right, so that's for the brew. I need to keep this. I have a card that they sent to me that I get to rate how I like it. So I'll remember when I wanna go back and order it. And if you're in Ohio, this brand is available at Kroger. So brewing the coffee, we'll take it in my Buckeye cup. They lost. I bought this Yeti at the game, the game, that we lost. We're gonna put some hot water in there. And now I'm gonna feed my boys. Hold on, I gotta get hot water. I like to warm up my cups so my coffee stays hot. All right, Alex gets Fancy Feast Cod, so this is Cod Soul Shrimp. Um, so he gets most of this can. I give a little bit to Wellington. Wellington goes back to the vet tomorrow. We're checking his blood pressure levels. Oh, he gets Sheba Perfect Portions. I'm trying to get him to eat a little more. He's just not doing good eating wise. So the vet is gonna give me some medicine. So then I give him about this much of Alex's. Alex will end up finishing his bowl, so it's not a big deal right now, but I need to try to entice Wellington to eat a little more. And I think this medicine is also not helping. I add warm water to their food just to help get them a little extra hydration. Plus Wellington seems to like his thinner. And again, anything I can do to get them to eat their breakfast is fantastic. Um, I don't hide Wellington's medicine in his food because he can sniff it out. He knows it's there. He is a, quite the pain in the body, booty. I hear you, sir. Are you hungry? So breakfast, let's give it to him. All right, come on. So they're having breakfast. I have to go to the office today and I'm running a little late, but since I'm brewing coffee, it seems, I think it will be okay. Um, I already have my lunch packed. Oh, I went to the dermatologist yesterday. I got another dry, looks like a dry flaky patch. If you're new to my channel, last summer I went to the dermatologist and I had a ton from like my nose and my cheeks and my chin, a couple of eyebrows um, frozen with that cryo spray stuff. And it's all pre-cancer. 
and I was supposed to go back. Oh, and then I had a piece of uh, suspicious spot on my shoulder removed through a biopsy and then a surgery, surgery. They numbed it and took it out. Um, last summer, and I was, sorry, I'm pruning my plants while I'm talking. I was supposed to go back in March for my full body check again. So you go once a year, but this popped up and on my nose. So I went in to see her yesterday and she has decided that I decided that instead of waiting for them to pop up, there's this cream. It's a topical chemotherapy cream because these are pre-cancer cells that I can, um, I will put on my face every day for two weeks and it will bring all these precancer cells to the surface and kind of zap them all at one time. So I'm gonna be quite the sight in January. I'm starting it on January 1st um, because I will be a mess for about two weeks and nobody wants, nobody wants that over the holidays, right? So I will document that for our channel, but I also will do some pre-recorded content for those who don't a don't want to see it and b it might be i might not feel up to doing videos so i just turned my tea kettle on it's just priming this i want to keep my coffee as hot as possible and i will only do this on the days that i go in this month because I have all this delicious coffee. Then I put the lid on and let that get hot. Okay, sorry, back to my facial woes. So it's not cancer right now. Right now they're just pre-cancer spots, but if I leave them on the, if I let them go unattended to, untaken care of, it will turn into cancer. There is no, there's no question about that. So, um, yeah, we'll start that in January. Sorry, I'm tidying up so I don't have to come home to a messy house because I have, should we open up Sarah's advent while I have a minute? We shall, hold on, okay. See, he left that much food. He did not eat very good. Oh, and when I'm at the vet tomorrow, they're going to give me an appetite stimulant for him. Sorry, I just put a few treats in his water and with some water to try to, you can see him, he's right there. He can eat, and he's deaf, so getting him to come back is not easy. Okay, the first gift of the Christmas season for me. This is from Sarah. She made me an advent calendar. This is day one. Open. Somebody asked where the bags came from. I am pretty sure they came from Hobby Lobby. And she put on the back of each of them a little activity to do each day. Let's see, it says Christmas coloring, so I bet this is a coloring book, which I don't, if you don't like adult coloring, uh, I do. Oh. oh, guys, it's the Nutcracker. Um, a, I love the Nutcracker, and it's a coloring book. Oh, how fun. Just pictures of all the things that represent the Nutcracker. How beautiful is that? Oh, I can't wait. I don't know where she got it. Upon a green meadow spangled with flowers stood a noble castle with clear glass windows and golden turrets. So it's the story of the Nutcracker. And this is day one. So we did our coffee. We did this. The cats have 
uh, treat. I'll do that when I get home from work. And um, then I have my cross stitch advent that I'm waiting until I get home from work to open with you guys. I can't do anything with it anyway during work hours, so I might as well wait till tonight. These videos will go up a little later because of the cross stitch. I don't want to be a spoiler to anybody who might watch my video and hasn't opened their calendars yet. So these will go up a little later. Okay, coffee is done a brewing. So, oh, I cannot wait to taste this. This coffee was the best coffee at the festival, let me tell you. And at my office, we don't get our coffee. So because we've been hybrid for so long and there's not a lot of people in the office, our Starbucks is only open for an hour in the morning and like an hour in the afternoon. But the problem is they don't even have real cream. They, they're giving us fake cream and powdered cream. I am not paying Starbucks prices for gas station coffee. Mmm. That is really good. Okay, I'll take the rest of it with us. So this is nice and hot in here. I think you need to leave it for like five minutes. So I really should get myself out of bed earlier in the morning. But we'll work with what we got. And today what we have is a pot of brownie nut coffee. I'll leave the rest of it and I'll make iced coffee at a later time because that's all this will hold. So I have this, I think it's 32 ounces, hot coffee, coffee cup, got my lunch and my first present of the season. And I am ready to rock and roll. I will talk with you in a little while. Okay guys, I'm home from work and we have the cat's advent calendar. Wellington's sitting here, we'll see. He's not my adventurous eater, but we'll see if he likes these. So day one, they are meaty. So they're not like the dry crunchy treats. Dobby, come here. I'm talking to him like he can hear me. <gasps> what do I have? Look. So they look like this. Do you want it? He does. Maybe. Here, Alex. And it's nice. There's four treats in here, or five. He may not be able to eat it. It's they're kind of hardish. I don't know. He's eating it. And, you know, if he's willing to eat something, he gets it. Sorry, I just pinged Alex off the head. So these aren't bad. These are the Sniff Snack. I got them at Target. It was like $3.97. And they are Omega Packed. I don't know what that means, but whatever. And then the Piece de Resistance. I have been waiting since April to open this advent calendar. This is the... Ever Tote Roxy Floss Co. Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery Collaboration 25 Days of Christmas. I know it's exciting. Um, sir, you, you left a half chewed one over here. Can you come fix it? Can you can you finish that? Here, yummy. Yummy. Yummy dummy. Yummy lummy dummy. Okay. Receipt. Not important. Here is the, it's not a pattern. <laughs> Here's where I write down something. I don't, oh, I guess colors. Okay, 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 okay. So I have symbols. I write down what color it is and then how many stitches. It's a mystery. We don't know what it's gonna look like. We do know it's a band sampler. Then we got the fabric, which I ordered. And this is Panatone 32 count holiday countdown. 
Now I know if you love this color, and it's almost like a khaki. If you love this color, it is for sale on the Evertote website. So pretty. And this is what we're gonna be stitching our stitch along on. I know, right? I'm so excited. So I already knew this was coming. And then this is day one. I don't know what's in here, but I do know there's a sticker that says day one. So we are gonna open this up. I'm gonna rip it open. I'm ripping it open. Oh, there's Alice. You gotta be down, Bubba. And in day one, look away now if you don't wanna know. Okay. I'm not trying to give anything away here. And all my progress will be a day behind, just so we're all aware. Okay, so first things first. Oh, look at that needle minder. That is so pretty. It has the birds. Oh, I love it. So we got a needle minder. We have, oh, we have a band, a ring to put all of our fabric or our floss on and some floss bling that has cross stitching pattern. I love it. And then our first color is Tannenbaum. It's like a green. And now I'm not going to show you the stitching I'm not showing you the pattern, but each day you'll get a card like this. And on the back here, it says, you know, welcome to the first part of the Evertote holiday countdown. Now you're ready to start your first part of this project. Before you start, make sure you read through the instructions carefully. Um, in fact, come with this design carefully. We cannot wait to follow everyone's progress. Um, if you want to follow along, use hashtag, hashtag countdown sal. Um, I got something in my tooth. Did you see that? Don't copy it. So it looks like it's a piece of the border. I don't know. But these are all... They look like Christmas trees. So in here, I'll write down the color. I will start my stitching tonight. I'm super excited. And by the end, I will have 25 different colors. And I think these are all one of a kind. I don't think they're, maybe. Uh, don't quote me on that. But I think. So that is everything for today. And guys, look what we have. And I, oh, what's at the bottom? Oh, day 25. We're not messing with day 25. Put that right back in there. So every day, and I just messed up all of my numbers. So that's fun. I did that all on my own. Ah, here is number two. So I will probably go through and put these in order just to make it easier on myself. And here, Wellington, there's another little tree for you. Ooh, ooh, don't put it on my cross stitching. It's half chewed, guys, half chewed. And here's a whole one. I don't know if they'll eat the whole thing, but whatever, I'm not worried. So what I'm gonna do is maybe get a basket out and make this all pretty and put them in order. But first I have to stitch. All right, guys, this is day one of Jolly Miss. Um, I hope you're gonna enjoy these videos. Every day will be a little something different. Maybe I'll open advent calendars. Most days we'll open advent calendars. Let's be truthful, I have four of them. Um, but yeah, you never know what's gonna happen. Maybe we'll wrap some Christmas presents. Maybe we'll do something else. I don't know, but we're gonna have fun. And join us over on the Facebook group if you wanna follow along on my stitching adventures. Um, my progress will always be at least a day behind. So what I stitch tonight, I will show you tomorrow if I get it done, but I don't want to give away any of the secret sauce, if you will. So I'm trying to wait until at least a day later to 
put my progress up on the social medias. And we do have a YouTube. I know we have a Facebook group and we also have an Instagram. All right, guys, I am going to say good night and I got to get some work done and get out of my work clothes and into my comfy clothes. So I hope you have a good one and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.